What's up, YouTube? This is a long time coming. I am so sorry. I'm Chrissy Costanza, and I know I haven't been here in a very, very long time. I swear I've been meaning to, but I keep forgetting and getting in my own way. But now I'm back, and I have a plan, and I have people holding me accountable. So this time, I swear, I will actually make videos. And I have a whole schedule for the rest of the year. I'm gonna be doing weekly videos. I know, it seems crazy, considering I couldn't even do one video per year for like the last five years or something like that. But I promise we're here, we're ready, we're gonna do it. So today's video is a Q&A video, so some quick things about me if you're new and we're meeting just for the very first time. My name's Chrissy, I'm the lead singer of a band called Against the Current. If you don't know us, you might know us from a song we did with a game called League of Legends. The song is called Legends Never Die. Super exciting, woo! Um, besides that, I am a gamer, a lifelong gamer and a lifelong musician. I stream on Twitch from time to time. Um, I've done a lot of cool stuff and gaming and music combined and I'm about to head out or I might already be out by the time you see this video on a world tour with my band. Uh, it's called the Nightmares and Daydreams World Tour and we are hitting South America, Latin America, Australia, Hawaii, Asia, Europe, UK. I think, did I get everything? Just go, just go look at the, go look at the ad bat. So I asked my Discord for some questions for this Q&A video. So if you're not part of the Discord, you should join um, because you'll probably get first access to these videos. I'll give you a heads up when they're coming out uh, and all that fun stuff. And I'm also going to be posting in the Against the Current Discord some updates from tour, behind the scenes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado, let's get into some of the questions. Some of these are very chaotic, which is understandable based on me and my community. So if you're new here, I'm sorry. Question number one. What are your thoughts on microwaved eggs? Starting it off with a banger, that's disgusting. Don't do that. Actually, I don't know. Is it disgusting? Is it any better or worse than microwaving anything else? You know what? I think my granny's microwaved eggs before and I trust whatever she does. I don't know. You do you. But don't microwave something like, like raw chicken. Don't do that. I'll take eggs, but not raw chicken. Next question. Am I planning to do any cosplays? Yes, I am. I actually recently did a charity fundraising stream for the Starlight Children's Foundation, which is an amazing organization. If you haven't heard of them, you should check them out. One of those things is a cosplay. So I'm working on figuring out what cosplay, what, who, what cosplay, <laughs> who I would want to cosplay as my dream cosplay, but I just think it's a bit difficult and it's a bit out of my scope right now is, uh, John Bringer Morgana from League of Legends. It's my favorite skin. It's amazing. It's really stunning. But I think that's a lot. So I'm trying to figure out what cosplay I want to do first. Um, and then I'll be doing a cosplay. You have to live in the world of the last book you read. How screwed are you? You know, it's a good question. I'm currently reading the Wheel of Time series. I'm only on book two right now. Um, I guess it kind of depends. If I was like an Aes Sedai, it'd be pretty lit, I guess. So, but it's a pretty scary world. You know, those Trollocs, they do be running around. So I don't know. In your life or career, what's the biggest mistake you ever made? Something that looking back made you grow stronger as a person or that turned out to be for the best. It's not as simple as a singular mistake, but I think the biggest mistake that I have made in both my life and career has just not been appreciating things in the moment and kind of always looking back and being like, oh yeah, that was actually pretty good. Um, or it having been something that I would have dreamed about when I was younger, and then I finally get to that point and I'm looking at the next thing, so I'm not appreciating it. And that's not just a career thing, that's also your family and your friends and, and all those little moments. So I think just the biggest mistake I think I've ever made is just not having appreciation for the things that are right in front of me. Which ATC song do you like the most lyrically? I really, really love the song Demons. This song I really loved because it was kind of about selflessly wanting to create this wonderland for someone else that you couldn't get to yourself because your demons were pulling you down. One of the lines from the verse was, I filled you with a wonderland born of my imagination and go, I can't. I just like that one. Where in Jersey is your favorite food place? Ooh, this is an easy one. So I'm from New Jersey, if you didn't know. Um, Vito's Italian Deli in Hoboken is the spot. They have the best mozzarella. Um, I get like on Italian bread or ciabatta bread, I get just like mozzarella, prosciutto di parma, and a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, basil. Uh, and it's just like the best sandwich ever. Are there any big permanent differences in the logistics of touring now, 2023, compared to before the pandemic? There were a lot of logistics early on with COVID testing and things like that, but now as the world has kind of gone back, what changed in touring 
is kind of gone now as well. We'll say the first tours after the pandemic were really difficult. What career path would you think you would have taken if ATC didn't work out for you? For example, if during the pandemic against the current decided to break up because we couldn't tour and, and it got difficult, right? And everyone kind of went their separate ways. During the pandemic, I got offered to host at Venn and I, I moved out to LA to do that. And then I started getting more and more hosting. So I probably would have transitioned just fully into streaming, content creating, hosting, broadcast, all that kind of thing. But I also probably would have started working on just a solo project as well because I think I would have wanted to do music no matter what but say it all it, it all was gone I would really like to just do something working with animals like running some kind of rescue or something I don't know I really want to have rescue horses what's your favorite stage outfit you've ever worn it's tough I've had so many stage outfits that I've really really loved one of the ones that is the most special to me though would have to be the outfit I wore for the original Legends Never Die live performance in Beijing at the Bird's Nest. Everything about that was special. And then I had the top was like this neoprene, long sleeved hooded top. And it had Chinese characters in gold on the side and it was custom made for me. And then I had, you know, a pair of the dancer's pants and then um, a pair of boots that I spray painted gold. And it, just everything about it was just very me. And, but it was also special because it was very much in the world of Legends Never Dies. Have you ever made a song that didn't make the cut but ever had second thoughts about if it should have been released. Oh my God, all the time. I feel like the song we're about to release almost ended up there though, was a song that got written because it was written a while ago. So it, it, it got written and then it almost kind of got forgotten. And I was really like, no, 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 this song has to, like, I love it. And I think this is one of our best songs. So we'll see what you think. Is there anything you do during a tour to prevent getting vocal cord damage? Probably just make a whole video on this because I have so many thoughts about singing and, and so many tips and I have tried everything over the years. So I think I have a lot of really good advice for people on how to keep your voice in good shape and protect it and things like that. What is the best part of touring? I think it's just traveling and meeting people from all over the world and but bonding over a common thread, which is you know, the music you're creating. I think that's, I think that's pretty wild and pretty special. It's very almost spiritual in nature. What is the most underrated against the current song in your opinion? Huh, I wanna say maybe Come Alive. I don't think she gets any love, but I really, really like Come Alive. If you could relocate anywhere in the world, where would you live? Japan, no questions asked. I would love to live in Japan. I love Japan. I'm learning Japanese. Um, I feel very at home there. I love Japanese food. It's safe, it's, beautiful there's so many parts that i haven't even seen yet from the mountains and the forests and the beaches like there's just so much in japan too that i would have a harder time picking where in japan to live um than picking where in the world but i would also love to live in italy i love italy so that's it for the q a thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it this far thanks that's so nice of you how thoughtful if you fast forwarded to this point thanks one thumbs up and said two but thanks anyway that's really nice and Sorry, there's nothing more exciting at the end. Just, it's just still me, I'm still here. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos. I think I'll definitely make a video on vocal care because I feel really strongly about it. So if you're trying to get into singing or if you like singing, et cetera, things like that. Um, but let me know what other kinds of videos you wanna see. I do have a bunch of things planned already, but I would love to hear what you would want to see. Um, I'm gonna be on tour the rest of the year. So a lot of those videos I'll be making on tour around the world. So if you notice that I'm going to a specific place and you're like, hey, you should check this out or go here, please let me know. Leave it in the comments, tweet me, or especially go into my Discord, which once again is linked in the caption, description, whatever it's called. Also, since I am just getting back into posting videos, I could use all the help in the world. So please give this a like, a thumbs up. Um, if you like it, no pressure. If not, you know, not trying to, I'm not trying to be pushy or anything. Um, and a comment if you're feeling really spicy and like maybe even share it. Ask your mom to watch it. Ask your dog to watch it. I don't know. Subscribe if you're not already. If you are, unsubscribe and resubscribe. Make a new channel. I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to my first video back. I really appreciate all of the support and thanks for waiting for so long as well. I'll see you next week.